welcome. Praise God. Hello, hello, hello. Hello there. Come on in. Come on in. And Lord, in. Hallelujah. Come on in. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you may be joining us. So glad you took the time to stop by. There is. Just right for you and I. Come on in. Come on in. Anointing. Hello, hello, Pastor Edwards. God bless you. God bless you. God bless everyone that's coming on right about now. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Anointing, 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 anointing. Yes. Thank God for his anointing. Thank God for being with you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart. Thank you, Lord that is acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thank you, Lord. This day you know what your people need to hear. Oh, I sit down. You stand up. You have your way. You have your way. Somebody's just hanging on right now just to hear the word. And I thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. How great is our God today. We want to welcome you. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for having your way today. Yes, thank you, Sister Clark. Lord, have your way today. We just want you to do what you do, what you do best. And, and we know right now, we know, we know, we know, we know. We need to lean and depend on our God. And, and I don't want to confuse anybody. And I, I, I you know, because God is not the author of confusion. 
And I'd like to let you tell you this. God bless you, Pastor O'Reilly, and we thank you, God. I want you all to know of a truth. This is so important that you all understand. When we say, Lord, have your way, let God, let go and let God, that doesn't mean that we are complacent, right? That's not for us to be complacent, right? We are to, what that simply means is allow the Spirit of the Lord to do what the Spirit of the Lord to do to you and how he directs you. I, you know what I mean? Because we, we've been on the subject uh, for the past few weeks of talking about the Holy Spirit and uh, uh, who he is for us, right? We've been talking about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, as some would say, and his place in our life. And one of the chief ways, the chief things that we've read, we were reading out of the New Living Translation. And that New Living Translation, we were reading from, um, uh, uh, it was John, St. John. When Jesus was telling his disciples, he said, listen, he said, I'm going away, right? We, and I'm taking this from the bench. But remember, as I'm talking to you all right now, because I know, I know my, my, my influence, my sphere of influence. Right now, I'm talking, those that are joining on Bible study, we're believers. Amen. I'm talking to believers. And so what I am, what I am working on and doing my part, to grow, let's all grow up to maturity. We are maturing. Uh huh. In this walk, maturing in this 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 path that we're on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on in. Walk in. Walk with me. Thank God for each and every one of you that's coming on. Those that are on this stream and those that even join us later. I want you to join us. But one of the things Jesus said in the 14th chapter, and we all read it last week, and we're not going to stay there long. But we, I want to finish this up. And he said, um, Jesus said this. Jesus said um, in this, he said, I am going away. But I'm not going to leave you comfortless, right? I am going to leave you, uh, I'm going to send you the av an advocate. The spirit of truth. He's your advocate. I love that word so much. I don't, I, you know. We all, we, you know, with the King James, he uses the word comforter, which I understand that. But, you know, that's one thing, reason why I love study. And, you know, when you dig down into it and you take a little time to dig into it, I love it. He will send you another, he will send you the comforter, the advocate, someone who will advocate on your behalf. Yeah. I want, right now, and the, the varying degrees of things that people are going through relative to life and relative to life issues. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Relative to life and relative to life issues. Do you know, a lot of us need to lean into that right now, lean into the spirit of the Lord. Because we need his guidance. We need his direction. We need him to tell us what to do, right? You know, um, and this is why I said we're not to, you know, someone said, let God have his way. Or we, we, we'll say, you know, let go and let God. That doesn't mean that we're complacent. But that just means we put the attention and the focus on where it needs to be. Praise God that we are out here and, you know, I'm glad I, I take on this, you know, so many times, if you look at what's going on now, people are trying to separate you from the word of God. They're trying to separate you from the power of God. Listen to what I'm saying. They are trying to separate you from things that you hold dear by, you know, by all this woke and enlightenment, you know, and, and, and it's taking, you know, it's just trying to pull you away from things that you know work. The path that you know. I, 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 I listened at the word of God. They were saying there's a path that's wide. Many are on that path. But it's a path that leadeth to destruction. But all oh, that narrow way, the straight and the narrow way, 
There be few. Sometimes I, I used to hear the old folk talk about that. They used to say that all the time. And I had an image in my head. <laughs> oh, come on. God bless you, Sister Heppert. God bless you, woman of God. And I see cause God's word work. That's what I'm talking about, Pastor O'Neill. That's what you, you, you know what I'm saying. You a pastor. And you know the interruptions that, you know, that's coming in. These contrary beliefs and contrary thoughts. And you're saying that you, you don't need to believe what you thought you should have been believing. And, and whatever this is. I mean, folks, just so woke. And it's so amazing to be so woke and to be going further down the rabbit hole. To be so woke. And going further, things getting worse. Things getting worse. Just absolutely getting worse. And we so woke and things getting worse. We so woke and things are even more perilous, but we so woke. Oh, come on, talk to me, somebody. We so woke now. We so woke. And I ain't got a problem with being woke. Uh, you know, because we, we know we talked about this on Sunday. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we're talking about he's, but Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you orphans. I'm going to go away. But when I go away, I'm going to send you an advocate. He said that in John 14. He said it in John 15, 26. And he said, and this spirit of truth will come to you from the father. And I will testify all and it will testify all about me. And you must also testify about me. What's your testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ right now? What's your testimony? God bless you. What's your testimony about the Lord Jesus? See, you, you know, what is your testimony about the Lord Jesus? I'm going to tell you my testimony. Let me tell you my testimony about the Lord Jesus. See, I, I, I've never seen, I was listening at a, uh, on a, 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 was it a podcast or some uh, on social media platform, and I was listening, Sister Kelly, hear me, hear me, and I was listening at this young lady. She has a lot of good points and things that she was going to say, but she said something that I say, uh huh, that, there goes the deception of the enemy. Hear what she said, and she was saying some good you know, empowerment thoughts and empowerment things, and I'm all about empowerment. You know, my my business is called being empowered, successful, and trade. That's that's my that's my business. Okay, that's I'm an entrepreneur, and that's the name of my business. I I, I do I set up for life skills and but and financial skills and all that. That's who I am, right? So I'm a I'm a I believe in empowering our people, empowering them with knowledge, understanding. I believe in all that. Praise God. But as I was listening, and this is important, this is a little bit of the prophetic, and I want y'all to hear me. I want you to hear me because a lot of you all are contending and dealing and seeing and those that are on this live and those that may come on. If you got young people and if you got, you have, you have uh, 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 questioners, haters and, uh, and uh, uh, mistakers and all that kind of stuff, but I want you to hear me. And so on this platform, uh, glory to God. He is a miracle working God. Yes, he is. But don't you hear me? And so I was listening at it. Like I said, the lady was talking some good talk, talking about empowerment, and, you know, all down my alley. And but she messed, but but it messed with me when the young lady said, she said, but I, you know, I had to separate from Christianity. And I listened to what she said. I had to separate it because she said, and she said that because it, we, we, I found out that, and I, and I, and this thing's been bothering me ever since. She said because I found out that you know this Bible, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's play, it's a, a group of plagiarized books, and that um, this was a, 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 you know, and she started disparaging. Those things that I hold dear and those things that I believe in. Yes, he is, Sister Knight. He is a life-saving God. But she started disparaging those things and she was doing it so eloquently. She was doing it with so articulate. She was so articulate in, 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 how she, in her presentation. 
I'm sure she got a lot of uh, uh, people listening at that, but it, it began to stir my ire. I said it began to stir my ire. Because one thing, this is why I try to get you believers to know. You got to know why you believe God. You have to understand why it is in order to see. I don't mind listening uh, 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 at you know some of the you know the other side when they give argument. The, the part of a uh, you know part of my uh, uh, when what I uh, in in college one of my majors was pre law. You know I love the law. I don't know why my grandma wouldn't let me be a lawyer, but I love the law. But one of the things one of my professors told me, in order to win an argument, you have to understand the other where the other the other person's argument better than you understand your own. Understand where they're coming from. What well, in order to count, you have to understand the other person's argument in order to count. And I'm telling you all this because a lot of times what happens is you put your head in the sand. I don't want to hear that, but you better hear it. You better open your ears and you better hear what folks saying. Because these are the things, you know, I, 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 my, when I preached on Sunday, I preached about five things and I won't teach on it tonight because I'm going to the Holy Spirit, but I'm going to go back and teach on it. Five things we need to understand, five things to understand. And part of that five things to understand is understanding the times in which we're living. Understanding the time in which we live in. And I talked about this on several occasions. When I was telling you all about uh, how David, when he was making his circle of mighty men, how he got the uh, 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 the sons of Issachar, simply because they understood the times, mean for what Israel ought to do. And part of the problem was going on now. There's stuff that's going on, but nobody knows what to do. I know because we got so many movements. So many movements, so many movements, so many movements, so many movements. Folk don't know what's moving, who's ahead or nothing. And so ain't nothing moving because the house divided against itself cannot stand. Hear me what I say. Hear what I say. Two ears, one mouth. <laughs> yes. But y'all hear what I say? A house divided against itself cannot stand. And so what we have, uh, 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 there is so much. And I'm especially talking to you parents with young folks because the young people are getting inundated with a whole lot of schools of thought. They're coming up on them, coming up from, from the side, from the front, it, 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 because they have, because information is there. If you don't understand who it is, who you, who you believe in, why you believe, you can get shuffled. And so when she said that, this lady just stirred my R. I R E. She stirred my R. Because I know many of a weak-minded person, because she she put particularly called me weak-minded because. I believe, as she said, in this um, slave gospel. <laughs> that I believe in this European gospel. That I've been Europeanized and I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been hijacked. She would rather, I believe. Now, don't get me wrong, because I'm not. I'm sort of dressed for it today. She would rather me believe. In my ancestors, I'm coming at you today. This is a little prophetic. I'm, I'm just, this not where I just want to be real. Cause this is what we're dealing with. Y'all gotta understand the times that I'm supposed to pray to my ancestors and and go back because the ancestors are watching over it a little bit. Like you know, one sister said, those angels coming from overseas. Come on now. Now, I hear. And I certainly do not totally reject uh, uh, that there is a lot to be learned and a lot to be known and a lot to be appreciated about our culture of, as a people. I have no qualms about that. I believe that they are strong. You know, we come from the stock that we are come from a very strong, astute, smart, Deeply rooted, melanated people. 
I know question. And I believe that there's a lot to be learned from going back and researching and knowing the historical aspect of stuff. But you can't tell me, and I do believe that knowing ancestrally a lot of what has gone on, the way it's gone on, what and causing the tick, I do believe that's important. But I won't let you all know today, nothing trumps the Holy Spirit for his leadership and guidance and advocacy. Nothing. Nothing. No, there is nothing above our God. They will, you will hear this. The put it, give it to the universe. Let the universe know. Let the universe hear you. Who, who made the universe? I want you to just ask yourself, who made the universe? I gotta come at you all this way because see, you but you you got young people, they are being challenged. You yourself may be challenged. Hey, my sister Kathy, you yourself may be challenged. But I'm letting you all know what you about, what we what the problem is, because the Bible says it's important, as Jesus said over in Luke. That you, you folk know what the weather is. They can tell you when it's going. You can look at the sky and know that what kind of weather is coming. But how can you not discern the times? And I'm letting you know that the Holy Spirit is, he's here for us to lead us, guide us into all truth. But see, what becomes of that when you've been, when you, when you are, when you are pulled from your foundational beliefs and the thinking that, well, is it is this real? Is this a real book or no? Is this is this a good writing or no? Is this is who did this? Because that's what happens when you're not firmly rooted. Somebody can just a double-minded man is unstable. James said in all his ways. So. I, there are all these times that I, I want to give to you that there, there are legitimate questions that pop up. Legitimate. But we cannot shy away from hearing what the questioning. People don't want to hear. No, 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 no. no but you got to know of what you speak. You got to know of why, why you stand for what you stand for. You got to know the, the, uh, the, what, what is the, uh, uh, where the, where the enemy, the frenemy or whatever, whoever, where it's coming from. And you got to know who you are, who you are, why you are, what you are, where you going. Because if you leave it for other folk to tell you. No telling what you're going to end up with. Come on in, saints. Come on in. I'm asking that as you come, you lack and share. We're talking. We're still on the Holy Spirit. We're knowing that he's our advocate. He's our leader. Our God. But what we're dealing with in a very prophetic way is, the, is, is understanding this information highway that's coming through that's dislodging the strength of, 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 of the of us as a whole. Because let me tell you why I believe what I believe. Very simply, I know my Redeemer lives. Very simply, because he brought me through this. How, what's, how do you say he brought you? Somebody, you want to put it like it's luck. It ain't luck. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I, 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 I have been in a situation, Sister Kathy, uh, Sister Clark, and different ones that's on here, Sister Joanne, uh, Sister Heaven. I've been in situations, daughter. I've been in situations where my back has been against the wall. Matter of fact, Sister Kathy, let me tell you, it, there was a groove in it, Sister Faith. There was, my back was in, in the, it was, I was in the wall. I ain't going to say against the wall. I was in the wall. Oh, come on, talk to me, somebody. I was in the wall. And it was, and, and, and I know. Oh, I can go down the list. I, I, I just wish I had me a ghostwriter to help, write my, my, help me write my book. And I know that if it had not been for the Lord, 
the God I pray to, Father, in the name of Jesus. When I didn't have anybody to call on. When I didn't know anyone or like 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 I let me allow me to be a grammatically incorrect. I didn't know nobody. I know that's double negatives, but hear me what I say. I didn't know nobody who was ready and could you you know was was able to do what needed to be done. It would take. Listen to me, somebody. A move of God. You hear me when I say, I say it would take. Oh, you hear me? Hear me? It will take a move of God. Has anybody ever been in a situation where you know it was a move of God? That if God didn't reach in and do something about it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on. Time to get real with your relationship with Jesus. And I mean, you need to be real with your relationship with the Holy Ghost. Let him rest, rule, and abide. But there are times when I know that's why I can stand up to any number of ones that come my way trying to let me get woke to, you know, get me what they call wake. I said, no, 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 no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, exhibit one. Okay. When I was in a situation, when my husband and I, I, I just, I just, just get, I feel like testifying of him today. I feel like giving you a little testimony today. When my husband and I, we were young newlyweds, probably married about a, a, a little over two years. And I'll let you know that we we were we were uh, 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 was in the house. My husband, his hours had gotten reduced so significantly, and and, and I remember we didn't have we had a a, a, a two a, 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 a little boy and a little a baby. That's all we had. We had a little boy and a baby. My, my little my little toddler and and my baby girl. Well, then at that time was my middle child now. And we were in the house. My husband has hours had gotten reduced significantly. And we were looking in the refrigerator. And I remember there was nothing in the refrigerator. We had nothing. There was nothing. No, no, no. There was nothing. We were in the house. There was nothing. And my husband looked over and he looked at me and he said, he said, don't worry about it, baby. He said, the Lord will make a way. Now, mind you, he was, he was trying his best. He was doing what he could. But as he said, don't you worry. The Lord will make a way. I'm looking over. How about before he almost could, could finish the, the, and I'm telling you, it's not something that we had shared. It was something that was we were going through. And, and there came a knock at the door. So help me as I sit here and talk to you today. Somebody walked up to my door. I, I was a, 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 one of the ladies uh, uh, that went, that was a part of one of the churches that we uh, 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 would sometimes go to came and brought us. We had bag, uh, 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 armfuls of grocery. She said, "The Lord put you on my heart. The Lord told me to do this." Uh huh. It wasn't about the universe. It was the Lord. I, I remember that. And then there's so many more things that I know. That if it had not been for the Lord, I'm talking about him showing up by virtue of me praying and asking the Lord, making my request known. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hear me what I say, people of God. I'm going to let you know. I'm not telling you something, uh, 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 no guesswork. I'm, I'm talking about real work. I'm talking about a real God that has done real things. I'm talking about a real God that has done real things. I'm mean, talking about the Holy Spirit. We're talking about the, you know, the God that dwells in us. And so I was, we were reading on, 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 on last week, we were in Romans. And in Romans, he was, and I want y'all to get it. Get this. I want to finish this eighth chapter of Romans. I'm going to teach about those five things to understand because I preached on it Sunday. 
for those that can and you want to get it, go ahead and you know it's, uh, go to our Facebook. It's be on. Uh, it'll be on a uh, uh, YouTube probably today or tomorrow. But it, uh, the live is still up on Facebook. If you didn't get a chance to hear it, hear a little bit of it. I'm gonna teach on it. But five things you need to understand. But anyway, in this part, in in, in Romans eight twenty eight, he was talking about the spirit. Because I remember I told you the spirit is our advocate. And that on last week when we left off, I said, and the Father knows all the hearts. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. We're starting the 8th chapter. And I'm going to finish this 8th chapter. But right now I'm at the 27th verse. For the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for us, believers, in harmony with God's will. Now do you believe that? See, I want to go with somebody that believes something. Because if you don't, if you don't, if you don't believe, if you don't stand for something, they say you'll fall for anything. What do you believe? And who do you believe? Do you do you do you firm, firmly believe in this word of God? Do you believe? That's all I can say. Do you believe in the word? We used to sing the song, Kellen, you know. We used to sing that song. Yes, I'm a believer. Yes, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I am a believer. I'm a believer. Well, what you believe? I believe that what Jesus said, he said, I'm going to leave you and then I'm going to send you a comforter. And he's going to lead you and guide you into all truth. And as we use that, that exchangeable word, it say, I'll send you an advocate. I'm going to send you somebody that I'm going to send you somebody. I'm going to send you somebody that will advocate on your behalf. I'm going to send you somebody that when you don't know what to pray or how to pray, he's well able. He's the spirit of truth. He will pray. I believe it. You know, and you know, it's so amazing. Sometimes in the study of this word, sometimes my interpretation of things, the way I interpret, you know, because I'm so, I'm, I'm in this word. And I've, a lot of times, you know, as I've grown in God, I've gotten a better learning, a better understanding of the word of God. You know how it is. We grow. We understand so much more because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to mature. I mean, that's what Ephesians said. God is coming to the maturity, right? And he says, and we know, now before we get to that, I want to really say uh, verse 27 again. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. He knows deep calleth to deep. Deep calleth to deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He understands what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with what? God's will. In harmony together with what God wants. Right? You remember, 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 remember uh, the scripture that says, you have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss. You ask away from what's aligned with God's will. But it's, it's the truth that he said, if you abide in me, and my word abiding you. You can ask what you will, and it shall be. How does that happen? When you ask in alignment, you get what you're supposed to get. That's why a lot of times my prayer, and when I pray, I say, Lord, I want to be aligned with your word. My, 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 you know, many are the plans of a man's heart, but it's God's purpose that prevails, right? So I am aligning my will and way with the will and the way of the Lord. The anointing, the anointing. See, remember I told you I, I did last week we talked about Holy Ghost privilege. Oh yeah, yeah. The holy having the Holy Ghost privilege. Mm -hmm. Having Holy Ghost privilege. If you really truly believe, see, this is what this is. Sometimes you get challenged. I'm, I'm gonna tell you now. Sometimes in life you will get challenges, right? And these challenges, they they they'll come up against you. For you to understand how where you are, Job, 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 Job did it. I talked about that Sunday. Job had to get a full understanding as one who he was, and then two who God really was, right? Because he went through forty some chapters of suffering before he got it. 
So sometimes you do, there is a level of suffering sometimes people go through because they just don't get it. They don't get it. They don't get it. They don't really understand who God is and, and, and what the power that's invested, that's vested in them. There's a power in you. There's a, there is a, 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 a life force in you. He said that same spirit which raised Christ from the dead, he dwells, he will quicken your mind and body. He dwells in you. What? Yes, yes. And he says in verse 20, he says, and this is the part that you have to gain peace from because it's not always that comfortable. Yeah, Y'all out there? Anybody here? Anybody here? Anybody here? Anybody here? Thank you for coming on. Thank you for liking and sharing. Thank God for each and every one of you. But this part, he says, and we know that God causes everything. Ah, I want y'all to put in there everything, everything, everything. Somebody, what is everything? All my teachers on 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 this on this on this on this live. What's everything? Somebody tell me what's the definition of everything? What's everything? I wait. Na 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 Everything is everything. na 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 when you're being led by the Spirit of God, you're the Son of God. And he said, and whatever dip or detour, or whatever you're going through, he said, I'm, he said, I'll cause everything to work together. But he says, for the good, as long as you're called according to it, I'm going, everything's everything. Because a lot of you are just like Job. I've been there, done that, you too, you do, you do. Everybody's had some kind of life experience. Would you say that with me? Life experience. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody say it with me. Life experience. Say it with me. Everybody's had some type of life experience. I want y'all to remember. Say life experience. Everybody say life experience. Life experience. A life experience. If you if you have made it to this degree, away you where I'm at now, you know, I'm in my early 60s now, right? And and so again in this far, I've had many life experiences. Come on, come on. Have anybody ever spirit? So you, 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 there are stuff that's going through life experiences, right? There are life experiences. Some of them does the, some of them are not the, some of them are not enjoyable. Some of them may be somewhat painful. But it's just a life experience. It's just you going through. It's a journey. Part of this journey. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? There's one, but one very important thing. As he said again, he said, because I'm with you. And that's what Jesus said about the Holy Spirit. He said, I'll leave. He's, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to be with you. Yeah, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. I'm with you. So right now, he's his spirit. Is with us. And he said, and I will cause all things, those life experiences, to work together for the good for those that love the Lord. That's the, what you say. And sometimes we can't spell it out. Sometimes it doesn't even, it, it looks all funny sometimes. Listen, hear me when I say people of God. Sometimes it does. It does. It does. Sometimes it hurts. This fleshy body, yes. This mental strain, yes. But it's a life experience sometime in this walk. But it's not something that we want to dwell on. No, because he said, I'll cause it all to work together for the good of them that love me, that are called according to the purpose. For God knew his people in advance. Now, now, y'all, that part, do we believe that? Now, let me tell you, like, I, that, that's why the enemy is trying so hard to separate us from the word. They just want to call this a plagiarized book. Well, let me tell you, I'm glad they plagiarized it. Or wherever they play, because I believe they plagiarized it from Almighty God. 
they took his word and they put it in a word that we it down in, in, in black and white for me. Yeah, it is a plagiarized word. Oh, uh, yeah, she raised my hour. Yes, it is a plagiarized word. It's it's the plagiarized word that's good for me. It's a plagiarized word that's that's got the the the, the voice of life all dwelt in it. It's a plagiarized word that's that that if you read it and get to know it. Hallelujah. Get these power scriptures working for you. I'm telling you, it's more than a cliche. Hear me what I say, people of God. It's more than a cliche. It's more than a, a nice group a formed of a formation of, of, of neat paragraphs. This stuff is life. Life changing. Mm-hmm. And he says, for God knew his people <laughs> in advance. And he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the first among many brothers and sisters. Now that, since you hear me, y'all, did y'all receive that? Jesus, I mean, Paul is describing this and he's laying it out. We are the sons of God. We are. We are. Jesus is our example. Right? And his example was this. I want y'all to hear me. See, this is the part that I guess folk don't want y'all to really know. Jesus was flesh, was spirit wrapped up in flesh. It was God's spirit dwelling among us, but he was God, the Christos, Jesus Christ. Christ in us. In us. Christ in us. The hope of glory in us. See, that's the part. D don't be afraid to accept that the Christ, that we are, he was first. And then we are the brothers and the sisters that's coming by. And I, I can't make you believe. I can only tell you, uh, start employing some of these. Start uh, we're heirs to the king. Say that. We're heirs. We're king's kids. We're royal priesthood. We're a holy nation. Yes? Understand. Don't be afraid. Accept who you, who he has made you to be. Yeah, they want to, I, like I say, I'm all for being culturally sound. They said we come from kings and queens. I believe it. But even more so, I'm attached to the king spiritually. Yes, yes, yes. We, we said that he would be, that Jesus, right here, when he was the firstborn among many brothers and sisters, who we talking about? And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with himself. And having given them right standing, he gave them glory. Now, I didn't write that. And they say it's a plagiarized word. Well, if it's a plagiarized word, it's a good word. She done set me off. I told you. This word of God. Now, this is the part. I want you to hear me. People of God. People all over the world. Wherever they're under the sound of my voice. Hear me what I say, uh-huh. He says, what shall we say then? Listen to the word of the Lord. Verse 33 says, what shall we say about such wonderful things as these? King James says it this way. What shall we say then to these things? New Living Translation say, what shall we say about these things? These wonderful things. This part. If God is for us, who can be against us? Now, now, now let that resonate. Let that go down real slow. Let you, but you want to feel that. Oh, understand. Chew on that. Oh, let that be like some good old something. Let that be like a good piece of red velvet cake. Let it just melt in your mouth. Savor every moment of it. Listen to what it says. If God be for us. If, if. See Kelly, see Kelly, see Kelly. Hear me 
mean what I say? If God be, now we have to ask for, is God for me? I'm for God. Is God for me? I say, yes, God's for you. Don't let nobody fool you. Yes, God's for you. He's for you. He's made arrangements. He sent us the advocate, the Holy Spirit, who is there to lead us and guide us. Yes, Kathy, God is for you. That lady over there from um, Sanach, Sanach has this song that took me through one of the most trying times of our life. And one that song say, God is for me. God is for me. She has, a, she has an accent. And she said, God is for me. Nothing can stand against me. What? I let that thing get in my spirit. When we were up against a whole organization, I couldn't fight it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get behind the wall. Oh, but I knew somebody who could. The Spirit of the Lord. Oh, he can go up underneath the door. He can go through the wall. He can go over through the window. He can get up through the roof. Up, however he needs to get he in there, he'll get in there. I was coming against a whole organization, y'all. Somebody who hates you without a cause. And causing all kind of junk to go on. If I didn't believe God. That's why people cut stuff so short so many times. Because they don't have nothing to believe in. And you, and if you're not careful. Our young people at risk of not having what they need to believe in. Because of so these contrary things that's attacking them from all points. Hear me what I say. I'm so glad that my grandmother, ah, uh, that's an ancestor. My grandmother, yeah, yeah. So like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm all about cultural, you know, one to be culturally strong. My grandmother taught me to pray. I said she taught me to pray. She left me prayer. Yes, she left me prayer. And then this says, who, if God is for us, who can stand against us? Since he did not spare his own son, but gave him for us all. And because he did that, new living translation if anybody get it I want you to hear this what it says won't he give us everything else if he give us his if he did not spare his own son if he gave his own son willingly for us what else that's the best that he had what won't he give us everything I love this translation won't he give us everything else do you believe it though see it's just words on the page if you don't believe it Whatever you need, my my when my my uh my grandkids wanted me to keep playing a song on Spotify that was a good song. It was this song uh uh, uh Kelly y'all used to sing. I used to love to hear the choir sing it from Talent. They said, "Whatever you need, God's got it." And see, but this is the part. Not only does He have it, He's extended it to us. He's extended it to us. He's extended it to us. Who dares to accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? Listen. Listen. Isn't it just wonderful, Dr. J, to see Pastor come in, even if it's for the last three minutes of the service? Isn't it just so wonderful to see Pastor? Hallelujah. But it's part of that my fault because I left our, our young grand with him. And so, you know, sometimes the men can't handle the grand like the women can. Mm -hmm. Like, snatch them up and yeah. come on. But <laughs> Pastor is here and he smells so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, praise him. <laughs> but we Very thank good. God for Pastor Edwards. Amen. And so we're closing out this 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 uh, uh, um, uh, 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 eighth chapter. It says, "Who then will condemn us? No one. 
For Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he's sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. He's doing it too. The Holy Spirit making intercession for us. Jesus is interceding for us. Now, why can't we win? Glory to God. Why can't we win? Why? 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 Glory to God. Why? Glory to God. Oh, Pastor looks sharp with that sharp hat. new haircut he got on y'all. He got a little sharp haircut. Look at you, Pastor. Thank, thank you. Lord. Thank you. And he says in verse in verse 35, what does he say? Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? All right. I'm asking. Anybody got an answer? Boom, 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 boom. Can anything separate? Nothing. Does it mean he, he no longer loves us? If we have trouble or trouble or listen this part. Now, I want y'all to hear this part because I love New Living Trans. Y'all read this in the New Living Translation when you get a minute. It said, does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity? Or if we are prosecuted or hungry, destitute or in danger, threatened with death? Does that mean that? If we go through some life issues, does it mean that Christ is that we that we all we are that somehow we're on the bad side? No, it don't mean that. So the joy and say, nice haircut, Pastor. <laughs> but see, as the scripture says, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. But despite all these things, overwhelming victory. Is ours through Christ who loved us. Somebody say overwhelming victory. Overwhelming victory. Pastors, you need to say it. Overwhelming, overwhelming victory, victory is ours. Overwhelming. Y'all don't get it. Over this, I'm reading the New Living Translation, Romans 8 chapter. And right now we're at the uh, 37th verse. Somebody need to hear that today. Don't you need to hear that? They say it says. This, even though you may be going through life issues, even though some things may have happened to you, it doesn't diminish the fact that God loves us. It doesn't diminish the fact that the Holy Spirit is indwelling us. It doesn't diminish the fact that he's still advocating on my behalf. It doesn't diminish the fact that he's still, Jesus is still pleading for us, sitting at the right hand of God. He says, despite all these things, we have overwhelming victory. Pastor says at the end of service, we have what? Victory. Through our what? Lord and Savior. Who? Jesus Christ. Victory over what? Sin. Victory over what? Sickness. Victory over what? Anything. That's what? That's not like what? It. Hallelujah. Hear me when Hallelujah. I say people of God. We are victorious. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. What? Glory to God. Overwhelming what? <clears throat> Overwhelming what? But what is that? V? But another V? Victory. The overwhelming victory. Yes, yes. Somebody need to, to grab that. Despite, he said, despite all these things. Mm -hmm. Paul says, despite the fact I was shipwrecked, despite the, this, that, and the other, he said, nothing shall separate nothing. me. Nothing shall take me out of his hand. Nothing shall distract me. Oh, yeah, I, I, it may not feel the best. All of us who've gone through something. All of us who's felt the pinch and the pain of going through something. Hallelujah. But he's letting us know. Nay, in all these things, mm -hmm. we are more than conquerors yes. through him that loved us. Overwhelming victory, Sister Knight. Hallelujah. And I am convinced, he says, that nothing can separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life. Neither angels nor demons. Now listen, 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 listen. Listen, he want to let you know. There's stuff that comes to try to separate you. That's right. Oh, hear me what I say. There are things out there that want to separate you from what you believe in what you believe. This is the warning. Warning, 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 warning. Warning, there are entities out there that's trying to separate you from what you know is right, from the love of God. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Demons, fears. <laughs> Worried about things you don't need to worry about. Powers of hell. But nothing can separate us from the love of God. Not if, we, not if we hold fast. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever Amen. 
be able to separate us Hallelujah. from the overwhelming victory. Thank you. Is that the right time? Uh -huh. Oh, pastor comes in here and wants to show me, Sister Joanne, that it's 7.58. I missed this little ding-dong clock. <laughs> Whatever that little clock that be... I guess he must have missed off the thing. Right again, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. No wonder I keep on talking because this little clock didn't. didn't fit. <laughs> so I leave this with you. Nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank God for our teacher today. Nothing. Thank God. Overwhelming victory. Thank God. Thank God. Overwhelming victory. Overwhelming. Victory. Thank God for our teacher today. We appreciate it. Overwhelming her. victory. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank God for her. Overwhelming. Because God victory. is such, such a good God. We we uh, uh pray that you had a very good ah, life. Yeah. Glory to God. When I was listening to this, I was on my way here dealing with stuff. We thank God for for his spirit, his power, his anointing, and most of all, for giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to deal with life. And how to hear his voice, how to hear what he's doing, how to 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 hear and flow with God. Hallelujah. Learn how to flow with the Lord. Hallelujah. Learn how to flow with God. Hallelujah. Not flow with, with what you think or flow with, 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 with what you hear. Because there are there are there are certain things that people try to blur Whoa. blur the line. Try, try, to, try, try to try to make it look like, well, is that right or is that wrong? But but you will you be led by the Spirit of God? Be led you by can't the be go, Spirit you can't of God. Go Thank God for His Spirit, His power that lives in us. Father, we love you, love we you praise you, we magnify you. Thank you, Lord, for this very day. Thank you, Lord, for how you touch us in every way. In every Thank way. you, God, for how you bless us in every aspect, aspect of, of our lives. lives. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For you give us the power ah, to overcome. Thank you, Jesus. You give us the power thank to you, live a uh, victorious life. Yes, we Jesus. thank you, Father, mm -hmm. for this Open up our understanding, giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding how to deal with life and life issues. Oh God, we love you. We praise you. We magnify you. For you are God, and there's, there's no, other. no other. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. For you have no rival. You, you have, have no, no equal. equal. There's no one that can compare to there's you and say that they just like you. We you. thank you, Father, for bringing us into your image, bringing us into your likeness, bringing us into how you bless us We've to live. We've been brought Be. into. To live to the highest of our potential oh, here on this you, very world. Oh God, we love you. We praise you. We magnify you. For you are God. And there's no other. We thank you, Lord, for, for, for everything you've done. That you're doing for us. For being our shepherd. And we shall not want. Being our provider for every hour. For you give our hands the power to get well. You yes. give us yes. what we need to have. Yes. You help us in every way, God. In every way. Thank you, Lord, for how you bless those that have given by Cash App, those that have given by Giblify. 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 Uh, they put it in the mail or, 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 or drop it by. We thank you, Father, thank for you, how you bless those people that bless you, your church. Oh, Lord, we love you. We praise you. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord, for 104 return and giving them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding how to deal with the wealth of this very world. And Jesus, we do pray. pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Y'all remember that is our heart's desire hallelujah it's a good desire that we pay off this church this year and we thank god for that how he'll touch somebody hallelujah those that are joining us in our efforts hallelujah to get it done thank you, we praise god for that amen and we praise god that you all are joining us on sunday sunday's the first sunday of july yes, can you believe that we're already well over half the year God is a good God. He's still out of y'all. There's a lot going on in this world. But God is with us. We just learned that. We learned that again today. We it. It's been iterated again and again. That he's with us. Hallelujah. And nothing shall separate us from him. God bless you and keep us. Hallelujah. God bless you. Keep you. God bless us. Keep us. God keep all of us. Hallelujah. In the center of his will. In the name of Jesus. We love you all. One and all. God bless you. Now, say, Lord, Lord, we, we thank, thank you for the victory of our Lord, Lord and Savior, Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Victory over sin, sin, victory over sickness, sickness victory over anything, anything that's not, not like, like you. you. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord, for forgiving for me, forgiving me for, saving for saving me, for filling me with, with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. In, In Jesus' name, name amen, 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 and amen. God loves you. 
you, and especially you, have an awesome, awesome and wonderful week. And Ex wonderful. Live with great expectation. Live with great expectation. I'm expecting this church to be paid off. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Live. Amen. Amen. And amen. Love All you. All right. Thank God.